Good evening. It's 11.30. I was just waiting for the camera to charge, or at least charge up enough so I could make some sort of a video, at least. Um, I did go to Mum's today. Stepdad picked me up just after 10 when he'd uh, dropped Mum off to work. Um, I'm going to take this camera with me again, really, at some point. Um, I don't know when, because I'm not sure when I'm going over again. It could be Sunday. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Oh. I had a barbecue chicken pizza from um, Sainsbury's for tea. That mum's and yeah. Still gives me killer heartburn for some reason. Uh, open the friggin' door. Right. Um, I'll come in here for something. What did I come in here for? Oh, yes. One of my antacids. These are only cheap Sainsbury's own brand ones. I think they're £2.20. But you get like four trays of. 12. Yeah, four trays of 12. These, and you can either chew on these or you know, you can crush them up if you want to. It's just like a chalky mint, that's all they are. That is pretty much all they are, just a chalky mint. <laughs> when you look at the ingredients, there's not a lot ingredient wise in one of these. Anyway, um, Bought two bikes back. I've got one more left at Mum's. Uh, but I did manage to fit a brake lever to the bike. Um, but I had to swap both because I didn't have a match. So I took a couple of pairs over just in case. I was going to take just the one, but I thought, eh, if it doesn't match, then I'm screwed. So I thought I'll take a pair over. So that's why my box of... Uh, Brake levers is out. Well, that's your same box, it's actually a wicker basket. And it's, <laughs> that is actually a bicycle basket, believe it or not. But I don't have any mounts or anything for it, and I needed something for all my brake levers, so uh, it got doubled up as a storage box. The other thing I bought home was this pair of forks. Biggles was having a bit of a clean out in, um, outside his workshop, and he uh, gave me these. Um, so the plan, as this has got the right um, size stereo tube, I might, well what I am actually going to do, is uh, double check that they take a 26 inch wheel and looking at the depth of that I'd say they do, and fit them into this, see what these look like, Ooh, actually I don't think that's going to look as bad as I thought it might. Um, but I've got to get those forks out, and uh, I have loosened up that top bolt, but the um, handlebar stem is seized into the forks. So, I think my only option is going to be, and it's not one that I actually want to do, but I will give it another go at trying to free it off, but normally once they've seized in, that's it, they're absolute bitch to get out and I've never really been successful I mean I could stick the forks on something lock them on something solid and try and turn the handlebars but what I can do is take that bolt out altogether because I'll need that anyway and just take a hacksaw and just cut straight through there that will then allow me to undo these nuts take the nuts off and uh, drop what's left straight out because look how rusty they are they're not worth using even if I did uh, free them off but uh, I think those ones are going to be nice enough so I think I think that's the fork problem um, solved <laughs> ah this is how I can tell let's see if they're going to be a... are they for a... yeah it's the same length down to the wheels so yeah that's for 26 inch wheels Good. 
So I think I can say the um, finding a pair of forks solved. Seat post still not solved. Pretty much all I need is a seat post. Got a seat. Oh yeah, and gear shifters. I haven't got those yet. But, uh, getting there. <laughs> got the forks. Got the wheels. Got the tires. Tubes aren't a problem. Brakes aren't a problem. Oh, pardon me. Um, front derailleur shouldn't be a problem. Chain, again, shouldn't be a problem. Might see if I can change those pedals. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I lent on the bloody zoom button. Let's um, hold that better. There we go. Yeah. Where's the pedal? There's the pedal. You can just see the um, end bit snapped off. It's not important. Now the rest of the pedal is all right. I'm guessing someone's probably dropped it and that's just snapped the end there. And, uh, I actually do have a better pair of pedals I'd like to fit. So I can change them if I want to. So hopefully, well, I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. I'm having a bit of a rest because I've got a medical problem flared up. <laughs> well, it's not happy and if I do too much cycle riding, it's going to make it flare up even more. Um, I don't really want to say it because it's not a, it's a, well, oh actually sod it, I've got hemorrhoids, there we go. Now you can all laugh at me, you got hemorrhoids, <laughs> Laugh all you like, they are fucking painful. Um, but I noticed bleeding today, so it's not happy. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into detail, but I'm just going to say it's not happy at the moment. It's not happy with me. <laughs> uh, and it's annoying. And actually, it's all. It all stems from um, another medical issue I have, which is my um, dodgy bowels. Because uh, sometimes when my bowels are really bad, I strain to go to the loo. I know this is probably too much information, but... Um, but what I didn't know is, because ha I've had these roids... Pfft, well over 10 years now. But um, what happens is if you strain to go to the loo through diarrhea or compensate compensation, constipation rather, not compensation, it can give you um, hemorrhoids. And that's how I got mine. But my doctor tells me afterwards and I'm like, gee, thanks. <laughs> Could have told me to um, avoid straining beforehand, as you know that it, from my medical records, you know. I never did really get to the bottom as to, uh, pun not intended, I did, really didn't get to the bottom of uh, what was causing my upset tummy. Uh, although I have found laying off the white bread has helped. Uh, and eating high fibre cereals like um, shredded wheat or what's the other one? Shreddies. Not necessarily the Nestle brands, but you know, that type of cereal it seems to help as well. Um, but then again, cereal isn't that good because being diabetic, can't have a lot of sugar. And the problem with cereal is, you look at any cereal box, apart from shredded wheat, because it is just wheat, if you look at any cereal box, they all have added sugar. I ain't kidding. And milk has lactose in it, which is also a type of sugar. So, yeah, I can't win. Because <laughs> I'm either going to upset my tummy, or I'm going to overdo it on sugars, so... Trying to find that balance isn't easy. In fact, it's a right pain in the fucking backside, quite literally sometimes. <laughs> so, anyway, 
I'm going to chill out here tomorrow. I do really need to get back over to uh, catch custom trikes. Give her a hand with the caravan. Uh, what did I do with the four? Oh yeah, I took them through there, didn't I? I would like to use that stem, but I haven't got a... If you actually look at the end there, the other side of that cover is missing. Or well, the cover is missing to um, clamp on the handlebars. I do have another adjustable stem. Or maybe in my box of stems downstairs, I might be able to find one that'll fit without looking too out of place. I don't know, I'll have a look. But it's just, that one's actually a nicer stem. So I would like to use that one. So I'm not too fast if I have to cut that one open. Or cut it off, I should say. I will anyway, regardless. I'm not going to even attempt. I've tried to... And I'd lock the wheel between my legs, so I hold the front wheel with my legs and then twist the handlebars, but nope, that does not want to move. I think I'm more likely to um, buckle the wheel under the strain of holding it than um, freeing that handlebar off, so unfortunately, I've just realised this cap on this might fit. I'm actually tempted to take that off now and just go have a look. <laughs> I haven't got a 5mm hexagon key in here. I should have a 6mm in here somewhere. Oh, hang on. Second thoughts, I do have a 5mm in here. This is where I find it's not a 5mm, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, sweet. Just so happened to have a 5mm hexagon key on the floor. How about that? Might have been put in here in the first place when I put the handlebar in, actually. A bit of a pointless effort because I'm now taking it out again. <laughs> See if this actually fits and looks okay. So it's got the Claude Butler symbol on it as well. well someone's used their head and greased the bolts up. Let's get Hang on a minute. That's better. I can see my screen. Lay that on the seat and hope it stays there. I'm surprised this hasn't, oh, that's why it hasn't gone donkey yet, because the uh, bike is actually, or well, this bike is leaning on the electric bike. I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to take that bar off there, because I don't want it to drop. Because uh, all these flat, all flats in this block, they're all symmetrical, so... Where my lounge is, the neighbour's lounge is in exactly the same spot and so on. You know, the bedroom, their bedroom is right below me, well, it's right below us right now. So, are all built symmetrically. Even the flats in the, um, on the opposite side of the hallway. Not the same way round as this, but you know what I mean. The layout is exactly the same, it's just a mirror image. That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> right. So I've got to hold that in my leggies. Ooh. Ooh, I don't actually think that's going to look too out of place, to be honest. I think I might have to change the bolts because I don't think they fit properly. Oh, that one does. Maybe I've just accidentally started to cross through a little bit. It's wider, so if I could find a narrower one... That would actually fit on there, and I'll have a nice adjustable stem to put on there. I don't think that would notice too much, though, would it? But I'll have a look and see what I've got. I've got loads of stems that have these on. But, uh, I'm sort of glad I took that off, because I'm going to have to hack through that anyway, unfortunately. I'd rather not. It would have made life a lot easier if I could have just pulled the stem out and swapped it, but never mind. It's not going to work that way. <laughs> Sometimes things just don't go easily. Um, oh yeah, I bought 
did I say I bought um, two? Yeah, I did say I bought two bikes back, didn't I? Yeah. So I've got a ladies' bike I've got to put up tomorrow. I've messaged the guy about the other mountain bike that I kept for him because he said he'd uh, see me at the weekend. So it's now technically the weekend. Well, it will be in 15 minutes anyway. So uh, we'll see if I get a reply. I may not get a reply till all the morning. But uh, if he wants it, he does. If not, I'm just going to put that straight up on, um, I don't know, eBay and Gumtree, probably. Although I've had more luck through Gumtree, so I'm more inclined to go that route. 317 in trash. Hopefully I've got a... Uh, An email from him in here. Because I've got them in the sent folder as well and uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I have replied it has sent, that's alright. I've got it in a scent folder. So, with any luck, he'll reply tomorrow and say, Yes, please. We hope. Oh, hello. Has the sofa disappeared yet? Good. Took their freaking time. <laughs> Oh, apparently the town council has, um, well, apparently for the last year been leaving the um, town's main park, the memorial park, which is just across the way from me, open 24-7, so all day, all night, seven days a week, for the past year. Uh, but apparently only one resident has actually made any complaints, but according to the paper. But the town council have no logs of that complaint, so whether if whether or not it's a resident and or the paper lying, or whether if it just got lost in communication somewhere, I don't know. Um at first I was like, what the hell, you know, it's just an open invitation for uh, trouble. But... Thank you, asshole. But um, apparently... Nothing has ever been reported over the past year and everything has been fine, so... I retracted all my comments on that post, really, because uh, I did say, you know, that wasn't, didn't seem like a smart idea to me. But, uh, oh dear. I think I might have to rebuild my um, Lego table a little bit faster than planned. But yeah, anyway, so, if it's actually been okay, then... It just concerned me because recently there's been a spate of uh, bins being set on fire on other parks in town that don't get locked. Um, as well as glass bottles being smashed and whatnot around play equipment. But I uh, guess if it isn't really that much of a problem, it's not a problem, is it? So, yeah, if you're wondering what I was going, ooh, at, look at that table leg. Oh dear, that's um, rather on the piss. So yeah, I think I may end up rebuilding that a little bit sooner. I need a top though, that's what I need, I need a tabletop. Uh, I will think of something for that table anyway, eventually. I'm sure something will come along down the recycle centre or something. Uh, 
So I'm just getting some muck out of my bloody ear holes. Oh. Yeah, it's gone quiet online early tonight. Yeah, I've been a bit late with the videos the last couple of nights, but you know, the 10 till midnight time frame I gave myself is just pretty much an average time estimate. It might vary, just depends on what I've been doing and uh, whether or not I've remembered to charge this thing or not. So, like I said, I will be at home tomorrow. Uh, I've got to take a photo of that lady's bike, get that up and online and just um, disconnect the rear brake cable, stick some oil down it because it sticks when you um, pull it on and it's just a slightly sticky cable, that's all it is. A bit of oil down the um, outer cables will fix that. Uh, but that's the only thing that's wrong with it, everything else works, gears all work, the brakes work apart from that. So, uh, you know, it'll be good to go up. I'll just wait for this guy. I hope he'll reply at some point. Just a yes or no is all I want, that's all. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, we will see. Oh, here we go. I'm going to bed early. I went to bed a bit late last night and woke up early, but I think what I'll do, I'll upload this vid first. Um, I was trying to think to make sure there's nothing I've missed today. No, oh, well, I suppose I could tell you. Um, my stepdad's been working on a prototype for a, um, what they call an algae skimmer, which is basically a little box that will, would mount underneath your fish tank, fitted or connected to the filter loop, if you like, or I presume that's how you'd connect it, because um, on a marine tank you'd have a, what they call a sump tank, not a filter in the tank. The sump tank is the filter, uh, but my stepdad built his own one of them as well out of, an, out of a um, smaller fish tank. But anyway, the idea of this algae skimmer is you have lights shining on like a plastic mesh or something inside it that the water runs down and um, it's supposed to force the algae to grow on that and not in the tank. But you cannot buy them in this country. They have to be imported from the United States of America. Which makes them cost well over £300 by the time you factor in actually purchasing the item um, and the shipping cost. Because I think the actual skimmer itself can cost you I think my stepdad said about £250 That's a, that is actually quite a lot of money for this little plastic box basically um, and um, apparently the American ones are completely transparent so the light doesn't just shine where it's meant to be it shines everywhere in the cabinet and if it shines in your sump tank, it's going to cause algae to grow in there as well, which you don't really want. But my stepdad's design, according to um, a, distrib a dis distributor that he went to today, because, you know, he's trying to sell this to make a bit of money. Um, so he's built this prototype box, and he's used black plastic for the box with... Two on for the outside of the box, and then the two inside ones that separate the lights from the actual bit the algae will grow on is transparent. Um, the only thing we've got to finalise 
is connecting the um, LED lights. He's, we've used a couple of LED floodlights, just a couple of 20 watt ones, you know, really small ones. Um, we could actually probably downgrade to 10 watt, I think that would be better. Because um, he bought a couple of 230 volt ones, a couple of mains ones, but we actually figured today, because we've got to figure out how to connect them, and then we thought, well, it would be a good idea if we could have them so they plugged into a connector. So if the LED lights fail, you can just take them out, unscrew the four screws and bolt in another one. You can go on eBay and, you know, buy a replacement. Uh, and then I thought, it, as it's near water, 12 volt low voltage might be better. So I think he's going to um, invest in a couple of 12 volt ones. But I might say, you know, um, I think he could get away with 10 watt ones if he wanted to. They'd be cheaper to buy as well. But, uh, yeah, he's been to a lot of um, aquatics places. They all want some, the ones that he's been to. This um, distribu distributor, he distributes um, a lot of aquatic stuff, if you like, to... Um, aquatic shops <laughs> basically including some big ones and he's local he's only up the road from the stepdad actually um, so yeah if that all goes well my stepdad's also looking for a plastics company um, that can not only provide the um, sheets of plastic for the box but could cut the plastic to size as well and then my stepdad could just sit there and glue it all together because he's got to put all the plumbing in and whatnot for it and the lights. So I don't know why he, you know, doesn't just pay for the parts to be cut and uh, glue them together himself. It wouldn't take long to glue them together, to be honest. You, know, you could have several started, like glue a couple of bits together on each box, four or five boxes, let it dry, then do the other bits on the five boxes then let it dry. Five is just a random number. Um, yeah but uh, apparently they can be sold in this country. I think his price is a bit low for them though. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to disappear because I am actually getting tired and I want to get this video up. I just want to go and chill out in bed. Probably watch some Family Guy or American Dad or whatever's on at the moment. And uh, eventually fall asleep. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to uh, like, comment and subscribe. And thank you in advance. and. Uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Adios.